Account View Training Video 7 In this training session, we will cover the Energy Reconciliation System, the Overall Performance System, and the Contractors Performance System. Account View Training Video 6 Part 1 Energy Reconciliation System The energy reconciliation system calculates energy reconciliation figures from all feeders and billing figures. Within this module, the energy received versus energy sold calculations are done. These calculated values forms the base of the rest of the performance system's calculations. Calculated figures are presented on the smallest group of supply points that are metered from its source. For this project, the smallest group of supply points that individually metered from the source, is that of feeders. Therefore, the system will present performance figures on a per feeder basis. As an additional step, the smallest entity may be reduced to that of the feed area of single distribution transformers. This can be attained if metering is installed per each individual distribution transformer. This metering may be installed on the secondary low voltage side of the transformer. We will now have an in-depth view of the Account View Energy Reconciliation System. The Account View Energy Reconciliation System is launched from the Account View Consumer Information System main page's main menu after entering the web application's URL www.cistms.co.za forward slash moe.html and following the familiar signing in procedure. Select a sign in menu item. Enter login credentials and select a sign in button. Acknowledge the sign in notification by selecting the OK button. The system's main menu will now be displayed. If the energy reconciliation system or any of the other account view module items has been enabled on your user profile, the module's menu item is displayed. If the module's menu item is not displayed, the applicable module's function must first be added to your user profile before you can continue with this training module. This must be done by the system administrator. Select the module's menu item from the main menu. The module submenu is opened. Modules items shown here are only those that are enabled on your user profile. If the energy reconciliation system menu item is not displayed, this function must first be added to your user profile by the system administrator before you can continue with this training module. Select the Energy Reconciliation Systems page by selecting the Energy Recon sub-menu item. The Account View Energy Reconciliation System page is now opened. There are some active areas on the Account View Energy Reconciliation System page that will now be pointed out. Feeder Names Tree View These are the available feeders that are enabled to be viewed by this user. The feeders are grouped together in related groups. A feeder is selected by clicking on its name. On selection, it will be highlighted as the Al Rahman Mosque 2 feeder in the tree view. Selected Feeder Physical Information The selected feeder's information is displayed in this area. This info may be the following, substation name, address, and any additional information available. Selected Feeder Performance Information The selected feeder's performance information is displayed in this area. This includes the performance ratios of various performance parameters that can be calculated for the selected feeder. 
this information depends on the available information, but will be at least what is now displayed. Performance information is showing no value since there is no VORS for energy received in the system when this video was made. The Actions main menu contains varying sub-menu items. These depend on the rights allowed to the user. This includes showing the feeders on the GIS map, printing reports of selected feeders, printing reports of selected feeder groups, and printing global reports. This brings us to the end of part 1. Account view. Training video 6, part 2. Feeder performance system. Account view. Feeder performance system. The feeder performance system brings all information from the different performance modules together and combines them in a set of performance figures that serve as a comprehensive and reliable indication of performance achieved in the selected area. Key performance indicators, KPIs, are carefully selected to be easily calculated from available data that provides an indication of the actions that needs to be taken in order to enhance overall performance. The module consists of a report viewer, where specific performance indicators can be selected, and such selected information as well as the selected area performance numbers, are displayed. We will now have an in-depth view of the Account View Feeder Performance System. The Account View Feeder Performance System is launched from the Account View Consumer Information System's main page's main menu after entering the web application's URL www.cistms.co.za forward slash moe.html and following the familiar signing in procedure. The system's main menu will now be displayed. If the feeder performance system, or any of the other account view module items, has been enabled on your user profile, the module's main menu item is displayed. If the module's main menu item is not displayed, the applicable module's function or functions must first be added to your user profile, before you can continue with this training module. This must be done by the system administrator. Select the module's menu item from the main menu. The module submenu is opened. Modules items shown here are only those that are enabled on your user profile. If the feeder performance system menu item is not displayed, this function must first be added to your user profile by the system administrator before you can continue with this training module. Open the Feeder Performance System page by selecting the Performance sub-menu item. The Account View Feeder Performance System page is now opened. There are some active areas on the Account View Feeder Performance System page that will now be pointed out. Feeder Performance Areas Tree View Feeder areas are indicated as works areas. These are the available feeders that are enabled to be viewed by this user. The feeders are grouped together in related groups called sections on this page. A feeder is selected by clicking on its name. On selection, it will be highlighted and its detail will be displayed in the performance area. Before we continue, we need to expand more on the performance areas selection and how this selection influence the calculation of performance values. Single feeder selection. Single feeder is selected and performance calculations for this feeder is calculated based on all consumers connected to this feeder. Feeder group selection. If a feeder group is selected, in this case section A, 
The performance of all the feeders in the group are calculated as a single set of performance values. In this case it will be the performance of all the feeders in the group as indicated. Feeder group of groups selection. If a feeder main group is selected, in this case Mansour Maintenance Office, the performance of all the groups in the main group are calculated as a single set of performance values. In this case it will be the performance of all the groups as indicated. Selected Info In the Selected Info display area, information is displayed for the selection in the Performance Area Tree View. This info includes location information like feeder address and office address. It may also contain information about who is responsible for commercial activities of the selection in the performance area tree view. Performance In the performance info display area, the actual calculated performance values are displayed for the selection in the performance area tree view. This info includes performance values for billing ratio, collection ratio, consumers payment ratio, revenue collected, outstanding debt, and various other performance ratios. The Actions main menu contains varying sub-menu items. These depends on the rights allowed to the user. This includes showing the selected performance area on the Geographical Information Systems map, printing report of selected performance area, printing report of selected performance area, and printing global reports. This brings us to the end of part 2. Account View Training Video 6, Part 3 Private Investors Contract Performance Information System In this session we will discuss the Private Investors Contract Performance Information System. Private investors' performance is measured according to a number of key performance indicators, KPIs with the main purpose of measuring the contractor's performance. These KPIs covers the wide variety of activities that the private investor's contractor must contractual provide. There are a total number of 36 of these KPIs that can be directly derived from the information contained in the Account View Management Information Systems database. The full list of available KPIs is listed in the Management Information Systems Manual. This system calculates these KPIs and presents it in the format as required by the Private Investors Contract Agreements. The system consists of a Report Viewer where KPI reports can be selected for display and print. We will now have an in-depth view of the Private Investors Contract Performance Information System. The Account View Private Investors Contract Performance Information System is launched from the Account View Consumer Information System's main page's main menu after entering the web application's URL www.cistms.co.za forward slash moe.html and following the familiar signing in procedure. The system's main menu will now be displayed. If the private investor's contract performance information system or any of the other account view module items has been enabled on your user profile, the module's main menu item is displayed. If the module's main menu item is not displayed, the applicable module's function or functions must first be added to your user profile before you can continue with this training module. This must be done by the system administrator. Select the module's menu item from the main menu. The module submenu is opened. Modules items shown here are only those that are enabled on your user profile. 
The private investor's contract performance information system is open by selecting the contractor's KPI menu item. If the contractor's KPI menu item is not displayed, this function must first be added to your user profile by the system administrator before you can continue with this training module. Open the Private Investor's Contract Performance Information System page by selecting the Contractor's KPI sub-menu item. The Private Investor's Contract Performance Information System page is now opened. There are some active areas on the Account View Private Investor's Contract Performance Information System page. These will now be pointed out. The Contractors View Tree View Selection Area. Contract areas are indicated in the Tree View as items. It can be selected as individual contract areas as indicated. When individual contract areas is selected, it will show the performance for the selected contractors area. The contract areas are grouped together per company as indicated. If a company is selected, it will show the overall performance of the company. The Contractors Info Display Area In the Contractors Info Display Area, information is displayed for the selection in the Contractors View Area Tree View. This info includes general information like distribution company name, contractor name, and district name. It may also contain office address and other relevant information. The Performance Display Area. In the Performance Area shows all of the contractor's key performance indicators. It is listed against the same name as been given in the Private Investor's Contract. The list can be scrolled up and down as needed. The contents of this area may varies, depending on available input information. The Actions Main Menu contains varying sub-menu items. These depends on the rights allowed to the user. This includes showing the selected contract area on the geographical information systems map, printing reports of selected contract area, and printing global reports. This brings us to the end of this training video. Thank you very much for taking part in this training program.